So patients with ARDS will be treated in the intensive care setting uh, because they will need to be intubated and to be on ventilators in order to treat their hypoxemia and to maintain their uh, PaO2 levels at acceptable levels. Um, however, however um, considering that they are um, on um, ventilators for an extended period of time and because they're probably already immunocompromised from the pre-existing uh, disease or the condition that they had before they developed ARDS, they are prone to developing um, complications such as ventil ventilator-associated pneumonia. Um, and so because of this, we need to take strict infection control measures in order to ensure that they don't develop this complication. Uh, we need to be very vigilant in our hand washing, in um, maintaining oral care for the patient, um, in using sterile technique when suctioning the patient. We need to inform any visiting family or friends. They need, they need to be aware that they're immunocompromised and that they need to wash their hands when interacting with the patient. Um, these patients on ARDS um, may be on increasing um, positive pressure requirements on high levels of um, PEEP in order to um, correct the hypoxemia. But we need to be aware as well that there will be complications from the high pressures. Um, they may develop bare trauma or volume trauma from the, the high pressures. They may have decreased venous return uh, to the heart, which may decrease cardiac output as well. And so when that happens, um, many times um, healthcare team will um, try alternating ventilating, ventilator strategies um, when they have these complications. They may have, um, they may use permissive hypercapnia, they may have um, high frequency ventilation, there'll be other, comp uh, other strategies that they will use. Um, so we need to be aware of that and to be able to um, work accordingly.